Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. We finally, fin finally, finally, <laughs> can't get my words out today, managed to get our hands on this cassette, which I believe is the right date one, the 27th of June. Um, I think we're just going to put this straight into the, the, uh, the phony Talkman and see. Uh, we've also got to find out something about music or sound for the next dream. I've got a couple of ideas about that, but I'll go into that later on. So let's, um, let's give this a go. See if we can find this interview. 120 minutes later. Wait a minute, there's something after the chart show recording. Here we go. It's people talking. This is it. The missing interview cassette. I'm going to take this home and listen to it in private. Oh, ah. are you now? I hope you're going to pay for it. Oh, come on. I helped you yeah, out the Yeah, don't be like that. How about I let you swap it for something else? Fine. What, what about do you the want? metal detector I got from here in the first place? Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Just stick it back in the bucket of pre-loved belongings. Okay. Well... You can take this trowel, too. Ah. <clears throat> Forgetting something. What? My cassette player. Whoops. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Honest mistake. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's better. Now off you pop, we're closing. Alright, well, I guess that means we don't need... to go home and listen to this cassette properly. Yeah. I guess that means we don't need the metal detector or the, um, <clears throat> the trowel anymore. Pretty cool way to get rid of inventory items that are useless now. Let's go back to the house. So I was talking about the, um... Let's go into the book first, actually. Add inspiration to Dreambox sound related. Now, there's a couple of music related things that we've come across in the game so far. Um, I believe the piano in Lucy's house, I think it had some sheet music on it. So it could potentially be that, because it's not necessarily a book. If it is a book, it could be a trip to the library. Um, and there were also some, I believe, if I remember right, there were some hymn books in the church. So maybe something along those lines. Um, but we'll listen to this interview cassette first and then try this. I mean, it could be that the cassette needs to go in there. I don't know. I mean, it is sort of music sound related, isn't it? So it could be a two birds with one stone kind of deal. But let's just focus on the cassette for now. I don't want to sort of convolute things too much. Uh, is there a way we can play... Oh yeah, we've got this, haven't we, the stereo. I was going to say, is there a way we can actually play this? But yeah, I think there is. Okay, let's have a proper listen to this. Here we go. Interview with the murder suspect. Can you confirm your name for the tape, please? Horatio Fig. Speak up a bit, please. Horatio Fig. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what can you tell me about your whereabouts earlier tonight? I, I've been home all evening. Really? Well, we had an anonymous tip-off earlier tonight that you were seen fleeing the new theme park. Do you have anything to say about that? I went to wish Fergus luck. Ah, of course you did. I've heard you're a very strong advocate of theme parks on your family's land. Mm. Okay, look, I know Fergus and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but kill me own brother? I couldn't, I wouldn't. And what could I possibly have to gain? Oh, I don't know. Your brother's share of the estate, perhaps? Yeah, good point. Fergus <coughs> thought of it that that would never happen when he amended his will recently. Really? So I suppose we're looking at revenge, plain and simple, then. Look, I don't need Fergus' bloody money. I'm innocent and I can prove it to you. I'm all ears. Just check the tapes. Tapes? What tapes? The security tapes at the theme park. Ah. Fergus told me it had state-of-the-art video surveillance. Do I look like a complete idiot to you? <laughs> of course we checked the security tapes. They were all empty. Oh, damn Obviously, it. Obviously, someone decided they didn't need to be turned on tonight. You don't have any evidence to pin this on me. You'll have to let me go. I know my rights. Oh, it's just a matter of time. I know a guilty man when I see one. We'll be starting with a thorough search of that I saw you call home as soon as I have a warrant. The head. I beg your pardon? The head of the ferret costume, where is it? Why don't you tell me? Fergus told me he had video cameras mounted inside each of the theme park costumes. Oh. After he kept being punched by members of the public whilst handing out flyers. If you can find the head, you'll find the tape and the real killer. Interesting. Well, you saw to it that the head would never be found, I'm sure. 
This interview is terminated. I'll be seeing you again very soon, Fig. Wow, that was intense. I guess they never found the ferret head or the security tape. So we need to find that ferret head, don't we? That's going to be the key to all of this. Uh, find the security tape inside a ferret head. I, I get the feeling the ferret head is going to be in our house. I, I've, I've, like I've said before, I've got this running theory that Lucy's mum is the sister, a missing, like a, a long, not a long lost sibling, but one that people don't know about and that she killed. I don't even want to think about what goes on in there. That she killed, um, Fergus. No. It smells funny in there. And I wonder if the ferret head is going to be in one of these rooms that we can't get into. Oh, what's this? Someone stuck a flyer under our front door. Live music at the ferret's head. <gasps> Join German electro pop sensation Gronk for an interactive music extravaganza. Bring this special invitation with you. I suppose I could head to the pub to see what the fuss is about. We could, <clears throat> but I'm also wondering if we can put that into the dream box. It's from my parents. We're out at the regional otter flinging championships. D -d don't let Lloyd start throwing stuff out of his window again. And please, d -d don't go in the kitchen. Your mother accidentally took out the stopcock with her crossbow. And there's water all over the floor. Mm. D -d -d Dad. Suspicious that we can't go into there as well. I think it's still out of action after last week's incident. Mm. Okay, well... Something very, very suspicious going on with all of this, isn't there? Um, right, there we go, the music. That's what I was talking about, so let's... I don't know how to read music. I know we don't, but can we take it? It's not inspirational enough. Not inspirational enough, okay, fine. So, can this flyer go into the box? I know we need it for, to go to this um, music event. Hang on, is there... A, do we have, like, a music book anywhere in here? Ooh, nursery rhymes. I don't want to carry it around with me. Uh, okay. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Rodents have a really hard time in some. They of these. do. <laughs> they do. But it's uh, interesting that that was voiced. Getting through life with only four verbs. Uh, right. <clears throat> Let's try putting this into the box. I just want to see if it'll work. It's not inspirational enough. Okay, not inspirational enough. In which case, let's go to town. We'll go into this, uh... Ooh! This is a new person. Arnie! Hey, Arn. All right, Luce. How are you sleeping? That seems to change almost hourly. <laughs> it does. In the meantime, I'm trying to solve a decade-old murder case in the hope that it will somehow help me understand or otherwise purge my troubled mind. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. What do you know? What do you know? What? You want to know literally everything I know? No, it's a greeting. Like, how are you? Is it? <laughs> All right. So you don't want to know what I know? No, not really. Not unless you know where to find <coughs> the giant ferret head. I like you, Lucy. But you and your family are all <laughs> certifiable. <laughs> you do know that, right? You have no idea. Yeah, you don't. What are you reading? What are you reading? I managed to get some comics before they closed the shop. Anything good? I'm working through them. I'll finish this one if you want to borrow it. Yeah. I'm not really into horror comics. Horror comics? I only bought it because it had a free bag of dweebs on the front. <laughs> All right. The Phantom Organ. Enter <gasps> the inspired, spine-tingling world of a deformed maniac and his enormous pipes. That's pretty niche. It is. Thanks. That sounds like just the inspiration I need right now. There we go. Don't get too excited about it. So it's not... Bye. See ya. Not not the music, but this, this comic. Also, it seems like everything's closed now, so I'm guessing it's the evening. Okay, here we go. What was this, by the way? Did we look at this? Ah. Retro oh, yeah, did. Fun times. Okay, interactive electro pop. Apparently, patrons of the Ferret's Head pub can enjoy live interactive electro pop today. It says specially invited guests only. Well, we've got uh, a thing, so let's give it a go. Oi, this gig is by special invitation only. We've got if one. If you don't have a flyer, you'll have to leave. Hang we've let's got have one. a look at it. Oh. I was going to click Aye, you. That's the but... chap. Enjoy the show. Thanks. The next time, bring your parents with you or something. <laughs> Here we go, Gronk. <laughs> he looks like he loves playing for a crowd. 
Such a big crowd. Uh, sign. Gronk, I play, you watch. <laughs> Interactive electro pop. Press any pedal to change the mood. Oh. They show the notes he's playing. They're flashing in the order D E G C A. Okay. So maybe we have to do something here. Can we talk to Gronk? Better not. He's in the zone. Alright, fine. Let's try using these then. This music makes me feel quite energetic. Okay, it makes us feel energetic. What about the soporific one? This music makes me feel sleepy. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it's an unfinished wine Looks here. Looks like Curly left in a hurry. Yeah, I wonder why. Can we take this? I prefer squash. Fine. Prefer squash. Uh, did the landlord say anything else? Cool, cool music. music. I'm glad someone likes it. Too bad you're not a paying customer. Alright, bye. Bye. Bye then. Fine, out we go. This is this is Gronk, the um the YouTuber and musician, right? I, or, or is it just inspired by Gronk? I don't I don't know. Um Tom can probably let me know to be honest. Right. Where do we go now? Probably back home and try out the um the dream box, right? With the the, the comic? Oh, we've lost the flyer as well, cool. I have to remember that the glass does something for these dreams. Right, yeah. Let's put Mr. Fumble in. And then we'll put the horror comic in. In you go. I can't wait to see what messed up crap this one yeah. generates. <laughs> if it's a horror comic, I'm uh, slightly I concerned. It's a, but it's really yeah, we've clicked that before. Um, Find the security tape inside a ferret head. So maybe that's going to be related to a dream. I'll just dip my pajamas on. All right, in we go. What do we got this time? Ooh, Ooh, spooky! Church. I hope there's something here that can help me with my latest nightmare. According to my dad's book, I need something to help me make a lot of noise. Okay. Although I can't help thinking that a crowbar would be somewhat simpler. <laughs> We've got this pen for graffiti as well. We're going to have to remember that. Bread dangling stick. Oh, bottle of milk. Apparently, I now dream about milk delivery services. It's like the milkman's bin. Can we take that? No point leaving it out here. Yeah. We'll have that. Not sure why. It's a... I think that's a newt inside it. A newt? Nah, he looks really happy in there. Okay, so we've got an empty goldfish bowl. It's an empty goldfish bowl. I'm wondering if we need to fill that up with water. Someone's clearly making an effort. Yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? Some ivy here. Even in my dreams, this stuff grows everywhere. Ugh. Cool that. It's coming out of a hole in the wall. Yuck. It's a small hole in the wall. It just screams, stick something in me. <laughs> All right, well, let's do that. Oh, that's a nice snug fit. Oh, that... That'll do. It's coming out of a hole in the wall. Not sure why we've done that, though. The window, can we? There's no bucket on it. Can we climb down? It needs a bucket in order to function properly. Oh, we need a bucket. Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Fumble. Don't you think this place is spooky? Don't you think this place is spooky? Not compared to some of the horrors I've witnessed today. At least all the bird poo seems to have come off now. <laughs> uh, could you bend that pen I stuck in the wall? Could you bend that? I stuck in the wall. Your requests just get weirder and weirder. To be honest, I don't think I have the dexterity. <laughs> You're probably better off just whacking it with something heavy. Right, okay. Fine, well let's leave here. I want to see what happens if we fill the, the glass up with water again, whether that affects that. Alright, let's try that. Uh, actually, let's try putting the duck back in here as well, see what happens there. Fine. It didn't fill it up, okay, but I wonder if it did something to the well. There's water at the bottom. Yeah, maybe it fills that up with water then. Hmm. Branch. 
It's a long branch. Can we take that? I'm not strong enough to break it off. Uh, okay. I don't want to try and ride him around here. So... All right, duck. Can we... That's not attracted by dangling bread. Okay. That's not attracted by dangling bread. No, but maybe the newt is. I don't think newts like bread. No, okay. Can we... We haven't actually just tried... Okay, we can just go in. I oh, my Sue God. I guess a lot doesn't want to come in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> and who's this? Oh, I don't know. We're going to look around this in the next one because we're out of time. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Kumadin, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>